Guys, we've um, we've lost Gareth A. Davis, but yet I'm joined by Adam Smith, a new IBF cruiserweight champion, Jai Opatia. Jai, first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's good to be here. Yeah, listen, great performance last time at Marius Bredis. What a tough guy. Just when you think you're breaking his heart, he comes back again. And it was very similar to the first fight. Um, yeah, it was a great fight. You know, um, it's, a, it's a fight that we're going to learn from and, and take a lot from. You know, it's going to make me a better fighter. So, you know, I'm just excited to get back in there now. Adam, I'm going to bring you in at this point as we're talking about Jai. Yeah. Talking about excited to get back in there. We'd love to see him out here, wouldn't we, in one of these events. I mean, the big fights, Chris Billum, Smith, yep. and Richard Riakpour going at it June, June the 15th. 15th. Yes, please. Yep, June 15th, Sellers Park. That's a cracker. Jai Pachai, great, great fighter. And the sorrow we saw over here, dismantled, destroyed. Then the Maris Bredis fight. And first time around, really hard. This time, sort of looked to us easier. You had him in control, seven, eight, nine rounds. Back he comes at you. Wonderful learning education. Were you happy with your night's performance? Man, I wasn't happy with my performance at the time. You know, I've watched it back and I'm, I'm happy with how I'm going to progress from it. You know what I mean? After, after watching it back, I've seen a few things that I know I can get better at and we can move forward from it. So. It's a positive, you know what I mean? And I still got the win. It, it, some people, it takes a loss for them to sort of learn what I've learned from that fight. So we've taken a lot and it, it, it's all a positive, man. So I, I'm just really looking forward to how this is going to improve my game. And is it full steam ahead? When are we next up? What's Definitely. the plan? Man, we, I'm chasing unification fights, you know what I mean? I'm chasing the rest of the belts. Um, you know, I, I really want to be the undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. And then once I do that, I want to move up. But, you know, until I've done that, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to feel unsatisfied. So. You've seen Alexander Rusick do just that, haven't we? We, we absolutely <laughs> have. We've been talking about that, the monster of the cruiserweight division. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about you eventually moving up to heavyweight and the possibilities of you going on and doing exactly what Alexander Rusick has. I mean, we've got some great heavyweight fights on here tonight. You looking forward to those? Yeah, man. Cracker fights, man. I'm, I'm really excited for them, so... How are you feeling, by the way? Because people won't know this. You've travelled 21 hours to get here and still haven't slept. Yeah, man, it's been a busy day. You know, we've had a busy couple of days, but it all comes with winning world titles. You know, we've got to act like world champions and we've got to come to events and, uh, you know, the, the other side of boxing. So. Yeah. And I know you're a big fan of Dimitri Bivol as well. Not just the heavyweights to come, but Bivol in the ring now, class operator, isn't he? Definitely, man. He's, he's a style that I've always watched and I've always respected his style. You know, his feet work, the way he flows. It's, he's, he's definitely, um, he's, he's my type of fighter. I like the science of the sport. And I want to ask you about Deontay Wilder, Jele Zhang, you know, Big speculation is Deontay Wilder, his last performance against Joseph Parker, looked finished, if I'm totally honest, a shell of his former self. Can he recapture that fire that was once in his belly? Can we see it again? Or is Jale saying too big? Five stone heavier, by the way. Man, this is an exciting fight. You know, I feel like both of these boys uh, got a lot on the line. So, man, it's going to be fireworks. I, I don't see it going the decision. So. Give us a pick. <laughs> man. Come on, man. Honestly, Put you on the line. It's on the line. Honestly, you haven't had any sleep. Come on. <laughs> uh, That's why I'm if doing I had it. The pick, if I had money on it, uh, I'd probably put it on Zhang, man. Because, you know, he's just so powerful. He's big. And, um, and Wilder just looks so so slim, you know. I, I don't know where he generates the power from. But, you know, I, I'm excited to watch it. So it should be a good fight. There's such a massive weight difference between them as well. Wilder, you're right. He's, he's tiny, really, for a heavyweight. So slim. But that power is absolutely ferocious. One of them's going to go, aren't they? Definitely, man. One, one of them's going to sleep, for sure. Listen, just before we go, give us a quick one as well. Daniel Dubois, Philip Hergovic, who wins that one? I think uh, Ergovic is, is very underrated, man. I feel like he's going to surprise a lot of people. So I'm, I'm excited for that one, too. Joy, great seeing you here, mate. And listen, guys, back to you in the studio. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.